Desperate times call for desperate measures. And when it comes to immigration, people have come up with some pretty crazy ways to sneak into a country. In order to achieve their goals, some individuals have resorted to creative and sometimes downright crazy tactics to avoid detection and gain entry. Today, we will explore 15 crazy ways immigrants have tried to sneak into a country. Number 15. A Historic Entry Made Shocking discoveries continue, with the illegal immigrants continually being caught despite their smart efforts. As one of the latest innovations, two immigrants have been caught in a mattress tied to the roof of a car driven by Spanish border guards. Occurring at the border connecting to Morocco, it is quite funny how they were attached to the car's roof on such a long drive. The driver knew quickly that this was big trouble for him, so he had taken off back into Morocco before he could get caught. As for the illegal immigrants, they were declared fine health-wise, with no issues with breathing or anything of that sort. And from the means through which they were conveyed, we are sure they were well rested. Now, let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Immigration by Rubber Boats Honestly, having men, women, and even children who likely do not know how to swim surrender their lives to the dictates of the sea by onboarding rubber boats is beyond desperation. But who are we to point fingers? Sometimes, even the fear of death is not enough to deter asylum seekers from searching for a better life in greener pastures. It makes us want to ask, where did these people get their guts from? To the amazement of all, 20 boats were caught by the Spanish National Police carrying over 200 strange immigrants from Morocco to Spain. These boats are not even good ones, but made of plastic. This is indeed highly dangerous, if we must say, and is definitely a perilous trip putting the lives of over 200 migrants in danger. These boats have taken their routes from Morocco to the Canary Islands without safety or sanitary measures. On arrival to Spain, the illegal immigrants were granted temporary accommodation from where they would be shifted to their final destinations. The Spanish police were also given full support by Europol. The police were able to prevent eight boats from leaving Morocco and were also able to arrest 28 people after having five houses searched. The operation seems to have been heavily profiting the traffickers involved, as suspects were said to have profited about 350,000 euros from the helpless immigrants. That is a pretty massive figure, but you probably don't envy these guys since they have been apprehended, having their own dosage of justice. If you think this is intriguing, wait for the next one. Number 13. When a fire hydrant becomes a root. Yes, we can only be done saying it when we consider the daily influx of illegal immigrants into European countries. Yet, what is most amazing about these stories is how asylum seekers never exhaust the means of sneaking in. A video of four Bangladeshi and four Pakistani nationals arrested for illegally entering the country has surfaced. The video shows police officers awaiting the men exiting the fire hydrant door, having tried to evade security at the OR Tambo International Airport. It wasn't their time to be lucky. The suspects were said to have arrived on a Qatar air flight from Doha with no luggage. The ministers say the authorities and law enforcement agencies will remain on high alert to ensure no corrupt or criminal activities take place at airports anymore. Whatever the case, we know that asylum seekers will find a way. This leads us to the next story on our list. Number 12. Cloning the Enemy Ever heard of the saying that the last place the enemy would expect to find you is in their own camp? Well, this set of illegal immigrants took this saying quite seriously, and it is evident in their actions. 
Now, you would agree that no one would expect to see illegal immigrants in a government border patrol vehicle. This is where these smugglers took the hint. Unfortunately for them, however, the federal law enforcement on the southern border still thwarted their human smuggling attempt in Arizona. The smugglers had utilized a cloned Border Patrol government vehicle. Accordingly, the smuggler was dressed in a fake U.S. Border Patrol uniform, and 10 illegal immigrants were on the move. Still, they weren't so lucky as they were discovered by the federal police in a vehicle that was made to look like a Border Patrol SUV. Whatever the outcome was, the incident shows how far cartels, who charge migrants thousands of dollars to get them across the border and into the United States, are willing to go to move people without getting caught. Number 11. Sewer Tunnel Come to think of it, what is the worst circumstance you can think of that would really make you go through a sewer tunnel? If you're confused about this question, you could ask some illegal immigrants. Seriously, where are we heading? This recent footage says it all. Strange footage shows illegal immigrants trying to get into Texas through no other means but a sewer tunnel. How is that? We cannot tell how desperate the situation has become until we see this. The clip covers several illegal immigrants of Mexican origin emerging from a sewer tunnel in the dark. Steadily, we could see them coming out one after the other in a desperate sequence. We can only wonder what the backstory is. But this is just one of those extreme measures that illegal immigrants would take to get to their promised land. Let's proceed. Number 10. Truck Smuggling Gone Wrong We won't lie. This is one of the saddest events of a failed illegal immigration on this list. Really. Nothing seems to be more crippling than watching people die in mass without help. But regardless, the story involves an unfortunate group of 53 migrants found dead on an abandoned truck. The migrants were found in sweltering conditions inside a semi-truck in San Antonio. This was sadly after an employee at a nearby building said he heard cries for help. What really happened here? Fortunately, all hope wasn't lost. More than a dozen of these illegal migrants were found still alive inside the tractor trailer and had to be first hospitalized for heat-related conditions. But what really happened here? According to reports, the refrigerated semi-tractor trailer had no visible working air conditioning unit and there was no sign of water inside. This at least was what the San Antonio fire chief, Charles Hood, told reporters. It's not clear how long ago the people inside the truck had perished, he said. You can only imagine how bad things had been for the victims, seeing that the high temperatures in the San Antonio area that day had ranged from the high 90s to the low 100s. None of these people could extricate themselves from the truck, so they were still in there awaiting help when they were discovered. This is sad, but hopefully our next story will bring in some humor. Number 9. Motorized Hang Glider Somehow, when it comes to illegal immigration, everything goes. This is evident in how desperately immigrants use every possible means to sneak into the country of their choice. In this line, two Cubans fly into Florida using a motorized hang glider. The two Cuban migrants landed in Florida's Key West International Airport using the motorized hang glider at around 10.30 a.m. on March 25, 2023, according to a Monroe County Sheriff's Office report. The men entered the United States illegally, and the report said that both were turned over to the custody of the United States Border Patrol. Luckily enough, no serious injuries were reported. There was also no interruption in service, and operations continued as normal according to a statement released by Key West Airport, as reported by local Florida News Miami Herald. The moment was caught on video and uploaded on several social media channels, including YouTube. Though the innovation of the illegal immigrants caught us off guard, Cubans have been migrating to the United States, particularly to Florida, since the 1959 Cuban Revolution. 
An estimated 500,000 Cubans migrated to the U.S. in the 15 years since the revolution. From the 1980s until now, Cubans have migrated to the United States mostly for economic reasons, and Florida is the perfect place for them to penetrate. The closest distance between Cuba and Florida is 165 kilometers, or 103 miles. But why are the illegal immigrants risking so much to migrate in the first place? There are a couple of reasons. According to the report, Cubans are willing to take the risk because those who make it to the United States almost always get to stay, even if they arrive illegally. The report also said that the U.S. and Cuba do not have formal diplomatic relations, and the American government cannot repatriate the migrants. However, it is still quite astonishing what the illegal immigrants did. Their entrance into the U.S. with a powered hang glider earned them the praise of local pilot Nick Pontecorvo, who told Local 10 News that he spotted the paraglider from the air. It was pretty awesome. To make that flight 90 miles over open ocean, especially with the wind, that takes a lot of courage, Pontecorvo said. Now, on to the next one. Number 8. The Strange Suitcase Every single time light is shown on the issues of illegal immigration, there are some things that most people don't understand. Both the smuggler and the smuggled are in very desperate situations. If not, how else would you classify a woman arrested for trying to sneak into a country through her suitcase? This is an actual story and is one of the extreme cases on the list. Until this female smuggler was caught, we were convinced that a suitcase was no place for a human being. But we were wrong. Whatever the case, this wasn't an easy journey for the man in the suitcase. There was almost no oxygen in the suitcase to keep him conscious, putting him in a pretty bad condition when he was found. And this is definitely just one of the perils of his silent journey where he relied solely on the mercy of the one who bore the suitcase. And now, the countdown continues. Number 7. Compacted Compartments For the next story, we will be learning something new. And this is it. Stuffing isn't just meant for lifeless objects or animals. Like sardines, People can get stuffed too in tight spaces and even put in worse conditions than sardines. Heading to a true life scenario in 2019, a truck was pulled over in a Spanish enclave wherein two illegal immigrants were found stuffed in very tight and dangerous spots. Unbelievably, the two illegal immigrants were found in the Honda station wagon, one shoved under the back seat while the other was right inside the dashboard. No one would argue about how dangerous this is, knowing the deadly gas they'd be exposed to. Because of this, the illegal immigrants were in poor conditions when they were found. All at once, they were suffering from numbness, sweating from extensive heat, and experiencing difficulty in walking. They even had to be hospitalized immediately, but this was not after cutting open the car to let them out of the too tight spots. The scenario makes us wonder what type of hell they must have been trying to escape from that led them to this. The guess is up to you. Number 6. The Makeshift Truck On this list, the creativity continues, and this time around, it even gets worse. A group of 16 illegal immigrants was found in a makeshift wooden container on a towing trailer. Anyone who saw that trailer could have been convinced it was just carrying a pile of building materials. But God knows how these officers found them out. Here's how the story goes. A deputy at the Atasco County Constable Precinct 3 pulled over this strange truck from the highway that seemed to be carrying building materials. As a result, the driver soon started panicking. This happened at a border between Poteet and Jordan, and being a border area, it was easy to be suspicious. The cops searched the truck and discovered a hidden room in the building materials. In it were 16 illegal immigrants consisting of 12 men and 4 women. According to the cops, it is unknown where these immigrants came from, 
but they seem to have been in that hidden tight room for over four hours. Because of the bad conditions in which they were found, two of the four women had to be hospitalized immediately, but the rest of the immigrants were sent to the Border Patrol office in Katola for further investigation. As for the Moroccan driver, it seemed like he would be in jail for a long time. Number 5. Squashing Gone Wrong As long as situations within different countries remain distinct, people will always want a better life, and crazy steps will always be taken to achieve this from time to time, so we're not surprised by the next event on our list. The Spanish police rescued four illegal immigrants squashed under the car seat. The cops had stopped the car, suspecting that it was a tool for mafian smuggling. But what they found were illegal immigrants trying to sneak into Europe. They happened to be North Africans, consisting of three men between the ages of 23 and 21, and one woman, 27, all trying to enter Spain illegally. Surprisingly, this set of illegal immigrants was not quite enduring enough to reach their destination before they started crying out for help. As a matter of fact, the cops discovering them was a welcomed idea as they soon started yelling for help. The Congolese woman could be heard screaming in French, Please get me out of here! I am afraid! My feet are swollen and I cannot feel my legs! Thank goodness the cops were her audience because she certainly wasn't going to be let out by the smuggler. Later on, the Congolese woman, as well as the three Guinea men, were handed over to the Border Patrol agents, while the driver, a Moroccan, was also arrested. Not surprising, right? Well, let's move on. Number 4. The Disguised Truck now just how far human traffickers would go to make their business successful is quite unbelievable, and their actions tell them out. In this scenario, 17 illegal immigrants were found shoved in a tight compartment in a truck at the Border Patrol checkpoint along the U.S.-Mexico border. It all started when the canine units of the West Freer checkpoint informed Border Patrol agents about a flat truck that had been sighted carrying bags of cement alongside rows of square tubes on its rack overhead. On arrival at the border, the truck was thoroughly searched, the dogs were let out, and in a tight space within the square tubes, 17 people found lying down were retrieved. Diverse in origin, the immigrants were traced to be from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and Mexico. Truly, if the Border Patrol officers were not so experienced, this move was smart enough to bypass them, but the experts knew better, swatting what seemed to have been a long-term desire for a good life and freedom. We're still moving. Number 3. Bust Continues Unluckily Again In October 2010, Another interesting smuggling activity seemed unlucky again as the U.S. Border Patrol Agency discovered a man from Colorado attempting to smuggle two illegal immigrants into the U.S. in hidden secret compartments within a car. There, a 31-year-old man and a 19-year-old girl, both from Mexico, were found. Cleverly, the car was modified in a special way making it have a special sheet metal compartment between the floor and the carriage underneath. There they were hidden, hoping to arrive at their dreamland. However, it's quite pitiful that despite all the efforts, they still got caught. Definitely only some days are Christmas. And now for the next story. Number 2. Death Compartments Hidden compartments are the norm in the smuggling business today. More cases get revealed by the day, and the one in March 2016 was quite sad when Spanish police officers found two men hidden in secret compartments underneath a smuggling car. The compartments were tight and almost impossible to fit a whole human being. God knows how much they had to squeeze to have gotten in there. As a result, before they could be removed, the officers had to take out the car's bumper and it was quite sad that one of the illegal immigrants was already dead. Before all this could happen, 
It was an easy guess that he could have died from heat exhaustion, the toxic gas from the car, dehydration, or probably starvation. There's also a possibility that he could have suffered all of these together. This is just one of the number of unlucky cases of illegal immigration, and it saddens us to even tell it. And for the next big story, number one, objectified. It is most likely that no one will complain about an ordinary car with empty seats crossing the border. This is probably why a strange idea was adopted as an ingenious tactic for illegal immigration. Now, we really don't know how this man was caught, but the cops had succeeded in this one. A photo was released showing an illegal immigrant trying to get across the border by turning himself into a car seat. The action all took place in a van that was crossing the border. The job was all done by simply ripping out the insides of the seat and getting into it. Only this time, he became a seat that couldn't be sat on by anyone, and no one did so throughout the trip. This surely sparked suspicions among Border Patrol agents who eventually found him out. Honestly, this is one clever move that could have gotten past anybody. But the cops are not just anybody, so we have to give it to them on this. Even though we know that the plans of this pitiful, illegal immigrant might just have to wait till next time. Will there be a permanent solution to the problem of illegal immigration? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.